What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to jump into American Truck Simulator and check out the newest update 1.53 for American Truck Simulator. They've included some new things like some new features, a new truck, and some rework. And one of the features I think you guys are going to really really enjoy. For starters, let's check out the new truck. Now, no, it is not this setup right here. It is actually this right here, the new Freightliner Cascadia. This thing looks really, really amazing. It's got the nice LED running lights on it. I do have it in kind of a highlighter yellow, and of course it is dusk out right now, so it looks really, really good shining, especially with those light, and which is kind of funny because it's got black wheels on it, but the highlighter yellow and the black wheels kind of make it look a little on the bronzer side, but looks really, really good. I took the arrow off the wheels, built it. I am using just a smaller sleeve super cab on this one but what's impressive about this is all the technology you guys can probably already see it's got cameras up here for days let's check out the inside so of course it's got monitors everywhere so let's go ahead and fire this baby up so again screens for days and cameras for days on it so with the camera right here you really don't need a mirror i wish you could actually remove the mirror because it's kind of redundant having two of them like that this is really just kind of a useless feature if I'm being honest. And you also have, instead of a camera right up here on the top for your side curb camera, you have it right here in the center. And same thing for over there, you have your camera for the side. So instead of having, looking at your side mirror, you've got that. Now I can understand what the point is for this one. The camera is like right here in your face. You don't have to worry about really turning your head to look. But that one over there, you have to turn your head all the way over there to look at anyway. So I don't really know what the point is having the side mirrors if you have the cameras, but it wouldn't let me remove. But then on top of that, you have these huge screens here. This thing looks really, really good, very modern looking. And of course you could change through all the information that you put up on there as well. But I'm really loving this truck. It looks really really good and doesn't sound terribly bad considering it has obviously no engine sounds yet or sound packs or mods yet but sounds really really good and so far has been really fun to drive and handles really really well but anyways this truck has a lot of technology on not just the led lights on it and the cameras and everything but it also has a new modern automatic transmission in it and an updated 525 horsepower engine in it. It'll definitely handle really well. And of course, with the cameras, you also have blind spot monitoring right here. I'll actually put my right turn signal on as this guy's in my blind spot. And there you guys heard that. It beeps at you and lets you know that somebody is in your blind spot. So lots of smart technology in it. This is a very, very nice truck. Again, these two double mirrors here, this is kind of driving me crazy. I wish I could have just the cameras. It's also got lane keep assist in it, as you guys can see. Start to go over the lines, it actually veers me back over. I know I don't have my camera set up yet, but it lets me know and it beeps at me just like that. So that's pretty entertaining. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really know how I feel about the cameras over here yet. They, I like them, but it just it's right in my sight. And I kind of feel like I'm going cross-eyed because I have the real mirror right next to it so when i'm like this i'm fine but i'm gonna have to turn my head to the left anyway to make sure no one's coming so hopefully they update that where i can have just my screen and i don't have to look at that mirror but anyways part of the california update you guys can probably already see there are a lot more details to the map and roads and everything and we're going to check out one of the cities that have been reworked it also lets me know when i'm going over the line it'll beep at me and then the lane keep assist will kick in i honestly feel like i'm driving in a spaceship with this truck with how smooth it drives all the technology all the screens it really is quite impressive now the feature that you guys are probably most excited about is the fact we now have sliding tandem axles on here which i am super excited about this adds an extra level of role playing and realism so for those of you that don't know on certain trucks the rear axles on the trailers can actually move back and forth depending on what's needed for the load to help balance the load if you need to put more weight onto the rear axle of the truck you can slide these back if you need to take weight off the back and put more weight on the trailer, you can slide these forward, just like this right there. Or, if you need them more back to the rear, you can do just like that right there and move them back to the rear. And then, of course, in some places and instances when you need to load a heavy load or at a specific docks, you may need to have the wheels all the way back to assist with loading. But the further back they are, the harder it is to maneuver in like tight areas like this, of course. And then the further forward they are, the easier it is. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. As you can see, trying to swing this thing real wide or make this real tight turn right here the trailer is going to turn not nearly as sharp as you can see right there whereas if i have them closer just like by backing them up just like that all the way closer like that you look back it'll turn a lot easier just like that right there 
And then on top of that, they did do rework. Cities in California, such as Los Angeles, they've updated the way things look, they've updated different road systems, and they've also updated the economy, so you'll be able to haul to new locations. And so far, just the screenshots alone look really, really good. And then they also added dynamic log and chip loading throughout every state in the game now not just arkansas so you guys will have to let me know whether or not you like this update and all the stuff that's included in it so far i am loving the rework i'm loving the new truck and i'm also loving the sliding tandem axle. so i think that's going to be a really good feature to have in this game i think it's going to it'll be really fun to play around with supposedly if you have the tandem axle slid into the wrong location you actually will get fined by the police as you go through dot inspections and, and places like that so i'm curious we're going to try that out on the very next video you guys are going to see we're going to take this whole setup out and slide the tandem axles into the wrong location just to see what will happen so hey, smash that like button if you guys enjoy this video and you guys are excited to see me do a little haul with this setup here and see what the fine is for getting pulled over with axles slid too far back and definitely subscribe if you haven't already and as always guys i will see you on the next video